Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows cyst, multiple cysts, a simple cyst, hemorrhagic ovarian cyst, and an ovarian mass. You can see the uterus, urinary bladder, and in hemorrhagic cyst, you can see the cyst having a significant amount of thick sludge in it due to the bleeding sometimes a fluid filled sac called a cyst may develop in one of the ovaries many women develop at least one cyst during their lifetime most often the cysts are painless and cause no symptoms you can see the right ovarian cyst which is a hemorrhagic cyst. Hemorrhagic ovarian cyst is an adenexal mass formed because of occurrence of bleeding into the follicular or corpus luteal, luteum cyst. Hemorrhagic cysts are commonly seen in clinical practice because hemorrhage into a cyst is usually painful, triggering the patient to consult her physician. Now you can see the left ovary. Now you are going to see another video which shows a corpus luteal cyst and an ovarian mass. You can see this is uterus, cervix and urinary bladder. Types of ovarian cysts. There are various types of ovarian cysts such as dermoid cysts and endometrioma cyst. Functional cysts are most common types. The two types of functional cysts include follicular, follicle and corpus luteum cysts. Now you can see a cyst having multiple internal septation. Multiple septa are seen. There is another type called follicular follicle cyst. During a menstrual cycle, the egg grows into in a sac called follicle. This sac is located inside the ovaries. Mostly this follicle or sac breaks open and releases an egg. But if the follicle doesn't break open, the fluid inside the follicle can form a cyst in the ovary. Now you can see the cyst having multiple septa this is a follicle cyst corpus luteal cysts follicle cyst follicle sacs typically dissolve after releasing an egg, but if the sac doesn't dissolve and the opening of the follicle seals, additional fluid develops inside the sac and this accumulation of fluid causes a corpus luteum cyst. Now you can see a, an ovarian mass in the other ovary. One ovary has simple cyst having multiple internal septation and the other ovary shows a small mass. Other types of ovarian cysts include dermoid cysts, sac-like growths on the ovaries that can contain hair, fat and other tissue. Then there is cyst adenomas non-cancerous growths that can develop on the outer side, outer surface of the ovaries. Then there are endometriomas, 
tissue that normally grow inside the uterus can develop outside the uterus and attach to the ovaries resulting in a cyst. You can see some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.